everybody on YouTube, Superside Air here. And a couple days ago, I got this uh, new uh, wireless adapter for Windows 10. Uh, I got this as a gift from somebody. And um, this is a very small and new USB stick they released uh, a month ago. And it is to hook up controllers to your Windows 10 PC, of course. Uh, now, this version is the smaller, newer version. Um, and I can show you that. Uh, you can see here this is this is this is it it's a very you know small uh, USB stick uh, has a button on the top you can uh, press that button and once you do you can then uh, hook up a controller like 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 uh, like this one it's the original Xbox one controller now the thing with this is that uh, I had a problem with this actually um, okay let me uh, let me plug this in Um, you know, at first, uh, let me minimize this. At first, I had a, a problem with this, and it showed up as an Xbox ACC. Now, it doesn't do that right now anymore. I mean, as you can see here, if I click that one, that it just clearly says uh, Xbox Wireless Adapter for Windows. The problem is gone. Now, I, I managed to, to fix it, and, and that is also something that I wanted to share with you guys today. Now, to be able to show you what, is actually, what I actually mean that I saw, I had to look up this uh, YouTube video from somebody else. Um, now, as you can see here, this is, this is what I saw at first. I saw that it, I plugged it into my computer. It came up on the uh, other devices and said Xbox ACC, so my computer didn't recognize it at all at first. Um, now, I was a little bit confused. I, I, I didn't know what was going on. I um, looked around, and I actually uh, got to uh, Windows support. I went to Xbox support. I talked to those people, um, and they can, couldn't really give me an answer. I mean, the only thing they, they told me is that I could pay... Uh, 150 to 200 dollars to be able to uh, fix the windows component and driver issues that i had on my computer and they wanted to remote desktop to my computer so they can uh, they, they could have fixed it for me now i was like no i'm not going to spend 200 dollars for a device that just costs i don't know 30 to, to get here so um the thing is what i did is i actually went back and i i booted up a virtual machine I just installed a fresh installation of Windows and I looked at what my adapter was doing. It didn't really work out. So then I actually went to my laptop, which is a Mac, installed Boot Camp, and then I had a fresh installation of Windows, which actually recognized it as, as this. Um, now, what I actually did was that I went to these, these driver details and I saw these four files that he needed to be able to install the driver. Now, there is no inf in that, so he can't actually install it as a driver. So what I did, I digged a little bit deeper into the system, and I actually found this here. Now, if, I, if you open this, you see that these four files are the, the actual drivers the, the Xbox Wireless Adapter needs to be able to function, okay? so. When I digged a little bit deeper into the system, I actually found these files, which has this inth right here. Um, and this is actually the one you need to use to be able to install the adapter. Um, so the adapter needs to know what it is itself, apparently. Uh, because I also had another computer that also didn't recognize it and show, let, it, let it show up as Xbox ACC at first. But after I used this driver, from an old Windows installation, and now my other computer also recognizes it as the Xbox Wireless Adapter. And if you open this one, you can because you can open this file, you'll see it's the installation script that supports Xbox Wireless Adapter for Windows. Um, and it will, of course, do a whole bunch of other things, um, adds a lot of services and stuff. But this is the file you need if you are having um, this problem I showed you right here, Xbox ACC. Um, and I think this is the, the newest variant they have. And I think also this one is not available in the Windows Update catalog yet. Um, so therefore, I wanted to, show, to, to share this with you guys today. Um, I will put a link down below, uh, I think Mediafire or something, where you can download this as a zip or RAR maybe. Um, 
when you downloaded it, you can then, uh, of course, uh, go here, click on update driver. You can then go to uh, browse. You then have to click on the list. And then, of course, it will say, like, a list with all the things. You then have to click next. And then you get this here. Click on half disk. Uh, you get this uh, here. You have to click on browse. And then you go to the, uh, the inf here. And this is the Xbox folder on my uh, my desktop. Inf. And then you click on this one. You click open. Click OK. It will show this. You press on next. It will install the the driver from the from this this one here. It will then say finished. Close. It will show up here. And you're ready to go and use it. I mean, they could show you that right now. And I can uh, click on the button. Uh, here we go. Then I can turn this one on. I mean, pairing just goes as the, uh, the Xbox itself. There you go. There you go. And that's it. And here's a big picture. It's just a small test, of course. I mean, you, you can see whenever I click on this, it changes. You can see that it actually works. Otherwise, this wouldn't be happening. You can just use whatever the controller has to offer. And it, work, it will work for every game that supports a controller, especially all the Steam games and stuff. So, there you go. And you can just minimize, exit, log, whatever it is you want to do. Um, so let's change this back to that. So you can, you can see that it it works fine after installing the the correct driver. Um, and I do have to say that if if uh, this video that I showed here, if this uh, driver that has been provided in this link here, that one does not work, which it did not with me. Um, you have to use this one that I provide. All right, all right, good, good. Fantastic. Um, anyway, let me know uh, if this helps you out. If it did, then uh, fantastic. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, click the like button down below. And um, maybe subscribe for more videos like, like this. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.